Hello friends, I am Chandran Ayer, editor and publisher of Corporate Tycoons magazine. Welcome to my YouTube channel where we interview business leaders and visionaries to find out the secret of their success. Today I have with me Mr. Anil Murarka, who is the MD of Miracam Industries. He is also a prominent social worker. Friends, this is an unusual interview in unusual time, keeping the aspect of social distance in view of COVID-19. Welcome to Corporate Tycoons, Mr. Murarka. Thank you, Mr. Ayer, for having me over during this lockdown period of COVID-2019. Of course, we are both in the same state, but at a far distance. I'm here right now in Mumbai and you are in Pune. Mr. Murarka, it has been a double blow for the Indian textile industry. One, the sluggish economy and the other, the COVID-19. What is your take? Yeah, of course, textiles have been very badly affected. I would say rather it's the most difficult times. Because unfortunately, textile is one segment which has been ignored always. And because of this issue right now, things will go back to worse for sure. We look forward to a better situation also maybe. Because when the, the countries like US and UK start buying from Pakistan and China, India will have a better footfall. Textiles, yes, of course, it's going to be a bad time for them. It's been always a neglected segment. And with this COVID 2019, I'm sure we are heading for a much disastrous situation. One, you can imagine the orders will be cancelled, employment will be much poor and what worries me most is the unemployed labour. What will they really do? We really need to work towards it to give them a better tomorrow. The US and the Europe are the two largest markets for the Indian exporters. And both these countries are reeling under the onslaught of coronavirus. How do you see this trend? Uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, the largest exports of textiles from the Indian continent is to the US and to the European market. It will be very badly affected. There are a couple of factors involved into it. One, the pricing, the raw material prices will shoot up drastically. And what worries me most is that the cutthroat competition, which has always been in textiles, it will really worsen up the situation. It will become more volatile. We really need to tighten our boots to ensure that we can probably sail through the existing situation. What should the government do to revive the textile sector? Um, of course. And if the central government takes keen interest, things can go really fantastic. Why I'm telling you this? Because when China was always a threat to the Indian market, to the Indian textiles, but now if China is boycotted probably, or people down throughout the globe, if they don't buy stuff from China and Pakistan, India will be the only country which will be really looking for a better tomorrow. People will start buying much more. Investments will come in. The companies who are planning to lock down in China, they will prefer India as their business partner. And things can go really fantastic as far as the globe is concerned. One for sure, employment, amazing. Two, industries coming up. Economy will really boom to a greater extent. We only need to tighten our boots to ensure that how occupied or how much are we ready to cope up with the current situation? What is your organization doing to help people in these times? Well, as far as our social enterprise is concerned, Ample Mission, we are trying to do whatever best we can for the country at large, for our countrymen at large. We started with sanitizers, soaps, masks, and so on. Now we are taking care of food grains, 
very food targets trying our best to reach to each and every segment of society so that we ensure that nobody sleeps hungry that's the main focus basically and the other factors i really applaud our honorable prime minister who has really worked hard towards it he is not really bothered about the economy at this moment rather than he is more bothered about the human life and that's a key factor economies can really improve tomorrow but the human race has to be considered and that's what our honorable prime minister is doing i really say i'm softer thank you mr muralka it was a pleasure having you on the show